It is time for us to eliminate the threats here today on A Mermaid's Tale. Thank you for joining our special episodes here as always. I believe this is number seven. Seven episodes so far in this series, and we get to take on this guy, whoop, that guy, right there today, and I'm excited about that. So thank you for tuning in. As always, down below you'll find the timestamps as we walk through a quick recap. We'll also break this thing down here today as well and hopefully get through the hard mode um, of this big baddie here, Abalone Cookies Aquamec. So we'll walk through that and then additionally continue down the storyline should that happen. Now, with that said, if you got a question, if you got a comment, do let me know. I love to hear from you as always. On top of that, come swing by our Discord server, join the great community there. And thanks to all of you that posted different ideas on how to take down this giant crab. Now, with that said, um, let's go ahead and get moving because we got a lot to get through. So, like I said, last time was really focused around the threats here. We're beginning to hit a little bit more of a wall because these lunar coral quills do take a lot and a lot of time to come back. Now, on top of that, these things cost about 35, so really we can only get through about two each time um, right now. Now, prior to that, we had a bunch of other things going on here between Lord Oyster and White Pearl, and lots of story on the White Pearl. We did take this baddie down on Clash of Land and Sea here as well, the good old Harpoon Captain, um, and a lot of backstory. Again, seven episodes so far here, I implore you to go check them out um, and give you great ideas and teams in order to progress. Now, with that, we are moving forward here on Veiled Moon Surging Threats. So a couple things here again, as always, if you do beat the hard, you get everything. Um, let's take a look at what we do have in front of us here with Abalone Cookies Aquamac. Now, one of the things that's really important, um, this is going to cost us 36 feathers. If we do fail here, um, it will take some of them, which can always be tough. So a couple things to keep in mind. Special conditions here, 60. Um, enemies debuff, uh, resist increased, shield capacity decreased, and healing decreased by 65%. Now, good news is, as always, Black Pearl Cookie. Right now, depending on which path you went, we do have a rally effect in order and in store for us here. Now, when it comes to Abalone Cookies Aquamec, um, again, generally we give you the four T's. We're gonna give you the team, the tactics, the treasures, and the toppings um, for all these different boss modes. Now, a couple big pieces, Cake Sea Hound, Swift Sword Tailor, uh, Beastmaster Sailor. Now, when we do look at Abalone Cookies Aquamec, let's go ahead and read through this. So Aquamec's armor passive ignores all incoming damage except for crit. Where else did we see this, my friends? Let's go back here a few minutes in time to a few other special episode stories. We saw this one already, did we not? We saw it with our friend, where are you? Ah, right. Is it Shaka Raka? Nope, not Coco Mambo. That one's also very difficult. <laughs> Many of you have asked me about that right here. Oh, nope. Saving Shining Glitter Cookie, Shaka Raka Guide. Greatly reduces incoming damage from non-crit attacks. Very, very important there. So let's go back here. Good old Shaka Raka. And now we're into the Veiled Moon, that's right. So Aquamech ignores all incoming damage except crit damage. Greatly, and now crit. Very important. Don't forget it. So here's what we got going on. Claw charge deals damage to the nearest target and inflicts injury upon them. So only way to remove injury again is PV. So don't forget that as well. Um, deals damage to all targets and stuns them. Power slam, bone harpoon, fires a harpoon against the furthest enemy, pulls them toward and stunning. And then giant fishnet, fires a giant fishnet towards targets, dealing damage and shackling them. Targets the enemy with the highest attack first and then the furthest next for this enemy next. So you're hitting the damage dealer and generally probably a healer. So you can get locked out this way. So generally a positive strategy to get by this is running a double healer 
Now, we're probably going to try a double damage dealer strategy here as well, at least to start. Um, this one that we have up might be okay, at least for the first one or uh, rendition. We can adjust again on these things here because, again, we need crit damage. Crit damage. Crit damage. I say it again. Ignores all incoming damage except crit damage. Okay. Don't forget. So there's a little bit of a trick there. We might try it for our first run as well just because we'll try it. So um, those are all very, very important things to pay attention to in order to get by this particular boss. Now, the other good news is we don't need everyone to survive. We don't, we really don't. We don't need them all to survive. So that is also always key to the strategy. That's right, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build the team this way. Um, again, we're gonna take sure and make sure we obviously have our leader here. Big thing that we're gonna do though is we're gonna dump the whistle. Even the whistle's great, you're gonna get increased crit percent for all allies by 15% grant the whistle buff to the two cookies with the highest attack. The whistle buff increases their attack by 35, damage resist by 15. And when those two die, you know, they heal. That's one way to do it. So it's still not a terrible idea or strategy. What we're actually going to do is we're going to flip over to increase this crit for all cookies by 30%. So we'll run that and attack to offset those, those pieces. Again, we could always run this and go for 15 if you need to. Um, the big tip there or trick is really going to be when you look at your cookie, how much crit damage are you popping out here? We're at 13 plus 30. Every other hit is almost golden. Let's check here. Cookie details, 14, 45. So that's really what you want to focus on and kind of think about there. We're really going to go full blown on some of this crit damage here. Um, and the other thing that you can think about is burning down the big baddie. So you may not want to run that double heal strategy. Again, this is going to go with one big nuke and then one healing over time. Um, that's mainly so you can remove injury like we talked about. Um, let's go ahead here and grab Rye. Yes, we're going to flip Rye in. Um, so farthest, get it? Farthest and attack. So now that we've moved this stuff around, it's a little bit of a different wash because you might be able to slip PV by. The other thing with this guy is being ethereal, you got a healer going all the time, right? So don't forget about that. This is what we're going to try in terms of our strategy um, in order to get by this one here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the topics. So we're on Resident Raspberry here. Again, great way to see all the other skills and sets, pieces that you might want. Um, here we have um, again on cooldown. Here we're on cooldown as well for PV. We are on damage resistance. We're gonna try this for survivability first. We can always flip over to attack. Um, again, big pieces are additional crit. Um, and then here again, really just uh, the lovely, lovely cooldown. All right, so there we go. Uh, if you ever want more detailed strategies about those things, absolutely feel free to check out our topping guides. Let's go ahead and give this one a shot. We'll try it first. We'll see if some of the stuff gets white pretty quick, and then we'll adjust our strategy um, in terms of what we want to do. Now, like I said, several of you have posted in the Discord server on this, so thank you very much um, for sharing your ideas, your strategy. Let's turn this up. We'll listen to it once. What do I do? I'm so nervous. Is this really supposed to make me this shaky? Uh-oh. The sea called you little moon, remember? If anything, it means you can shine on your own. You're a moon that can shine on its own. So, don't be afraid. And just, just give it one more try. I trust that cookie. It's just like you said. I'm a moon, loved by the sea and the cookies, shining on its own. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. I feel power surging through me. Almighty oh, sea, is this the real me? That's correct. You are the one that shines in the dark. Your power can only shine where there is no light. Even if the eclipse blacks out all light above, your light will protect the sea. Ooh. I can do it. I can do it. I can become the real me I so longed for. <gasps> uh oh. Oh no, I disappeared. But why? There's still time left before the eclipse. 
This is no eclipse. What is happening? My lady! Pearl jellyfish cookie! Everyone else has already gone to the borders of the waters. Yes. Let us go too. Quickly. Uh oh. Let's turn that down because now it's very loud. Uh oh, taking some damage there on our main guy. Come on, Pattaya, stay alive. That is the key. Now, we do want to drop this heal as we move in, which it's not going to let me. It's not letting me. Discovered our existence. He's back. And he's here to capture us. Uh oh. So as you can see, we're getting a lot of spread damage here, but doing fairly well in terms of our heals, keeping everything alive. Now there's the double shackle. We're able to keep both the heroes up, or the, the healers up, the damage dealers alive, and Pattaya Dragon there. We got two minutes left. As long as we can keep this pace and the right pace, we're going to be okay. We're a little bit on par for halfway here we go there we are getting close getting close we need the big heal a big heal a big heal there we go very very nice halfway halfway we're hanging in at par at pace Ooh. Come on. Damage, damage, damage. Doing very, very well. We just don't need a nice new kit. Multiple new kits there. And a lot of damage to get us. We're looking pretty good. Fingers crossed. Three star guide. For Abalone, Cookies Aquamech, on hard, first try. We love it. Yes, we did it. Quite the team, quite the team. Now again, you don't need to three star it. Enough. Yeah. Of someone who's given up. He will return soon. 
An offensive was never our purpose. Take care of the injured first. Ba ba boom. We did it. I knew you could do it. Thank you, PV. I did too. Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. A new one found. Calm before the storm. Let's go. This is probably going to be the last piece for today. Whoosh. A sea. I've always cherished you deeply in my heart. My sea. So beautiful and generous, yet powerful, dreaded by his foes. My dear crown. But now, I dream of another sea. One where I can walk on two legs, on the ground up above. I see. Your heart ripples like moonlight, reflected on the surface of the water. And I tremble with excitement, as if I'm dreaming. And yet, you are afraid. I tremble as I'm already walking around above. All the water surrounds me at every moment. Will you reach him? No, not for now. But someday. Knock, knock. Lord Oyster. No, I... I wish to rest a bit longer. Everyone's grumbling to hear your story about the ship and how you were the sole survivor. I will explain everything soon. So please, wait. Just for today. For I just want one more day to lose myself in a dream bathed in moonlight. To be continued. And there we go, my friends. The perfect timing there for us here. The veiled moon surging threats. The calm before the storm. I would take one more day, too, if I was Lord Oyster. All right. So here's what we got going on. Veiled moon surging threats. To recap here, we gave you a complete breakdown guide for Abalone Cookies Aquamech. Took that thing down first try down into your crown. Yeah, that's right. All right. So with that, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Again, if you got a question, if you got a comment, do let me know. I love to hear from you as always. Thank you to the Discord server again for everyone's uh, suggestions. Please feel free to come swing by there. And lastly, as always, thank you. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs. And thank you to all the members. We've got a great uh, offering there for you. If that's something you're interested in, I just want to say thank you. I always appreciate that support. Now, on top of that, we got a lot of great ways to stay connected and other great ways to support the channel down below. So thank you, everyone, for that. And it's a great way to stay in the know. Now, with that, we got a ton of great content here on the channel. More coming all the time. And I'm excited to constantly bring that here for you as well. With that, never fear, tear crown. We're good to go. Till next time, calm before the storm. We're going to take one more night to bask in the moonlight, just like Lord Oyster. All right. We'll see you soon. Take care.